this is your energy update deep dive for the week of June 18th through June 24th. All right, so one of the big themes this week is really, really, really about stepping outside of the box that we create for ourselves, whether it's beliefs on possibilities, um, it is limitations that we're placing upon ourselves and we're just constantly saying, I can't, I can't. Or it's even that dualistic way of thinking where it has to be one way or the other and there is no in-between in your mindset. So it's really stretching those possibilities and coming up with many as possible, even the ones that seem completely absurd and unattainable, right? Play with it and have fun. Just brainstorm as many as you can and start to really question those structures and, and those boundaries that you're putting yourself in. Um, so in the shorter version of this, I've used the career as an example. If you're miserable in a career and you're ready for a change and you are just done, but when it comes to searching for a job, you feel like you can't go into a different field or you can't have that job because you're missing the experience, but you're forgetting that you have so many transferable skill sets that would apply to that job. And even somebody that say has a degree in that field lacks those transferable skills and experience with those transferable skills. So you don't even try because, oh, well, somebody with a degree would probably get that over me, right? And you just start to cut yourself down and give yourself reasons and justify why it's not for you, why you can't have it. So this week, we're really, really, really trying to break beyond those boundaries. Inspiration hits when we step outside of those boundaries. And um, I love the quote that I found in Gene Keys on Gate 61. Um, and they said that inspiration is when you stop worshiping God and become God. So what this is saying is, instead of putting the power outside of yourself for change and just wishing and praying for something to happen, you take the power within yourself and say, I can make this happen. And then you start to look for ways to create that experience. And you really start to own your own, um, your own reality, your own experiences, and, and start to implement those changes within your life versus placing it outside of yourself. It's like they say, if you really want a job, you're not ever going to get it if you just stay on the couch hoping and praying that it's going to come to you. You actually have to talk to people and let them know that you're seeking a job and what you're seeking that job about. Apply for jobs, put together your resume and send it to people, right? There are tangible steps that we have to take in order to create that experience in our physical world. Otherwise, it's just stuck in a daydream and it's unable to be a lived experience. So that inspiration is that moment that we step outside of those boundaries and we're like, oh my goodness, I can do this. I can make this happen. And we start to look at the I can's versus the I can'ts. Um, so this week is really, really important for that. And we have Saturn that's retrograde inside of Pisces this week and it, it happened a few days ago. So it's like really this divine timing to really push yourself and look at those mental structures that you have built up that have tried to keep you safe and ask yourself, do I still need this? Is it true? And really look deeply at those internal narratives and those reasons that you consistently give yourself to keep you stuck and miserable, staying in the same spot saying, oh, well, I can't do anything differently. I don't have any options. Um, as we move through the week, there's going to be this, um, almost this feeling of intimidation, right? Where we are almost scared to step into that new space. Um, and I, I talked about it in some of my shorter videos. Um, so I'll use the same example just for consistency. But when I had my daughter and I started going to the gym, I felt really intimidated when I walked in. I had no idea what I was doing, what the proper form was, how to use the equipment, nothing, none of it. And it felt really scary. Um, I did not feel like I was in control. I didn't have the confidence in myself. So I ended up working with a personal trainer so that I could learn how to use the machines, how to do the different um, exercises properly and ensure that my form was correct. And um, just, Picking 
her brain to learn all of the things that I needed in order to feel confident when I stepped into that gym, knowing that I knew and was completely capable of doing exactly what I was set out to do. So if you are feeling that sense of insecurity or as if you're an imposter, whatever it is, right? Really look at what knowledge and skill sets um, that you feel like you lack, that you can go out and start to um, integrate and learn in your life that will allow you that sense of confidence in stepping into that new space, right? Um, what is it that you can start to tangibly do? Um, and not just like learning it, but starting to apply it into your life too, right? So taking that information that you're given and that skill set and starting to work it into your day-to-day -day life is going to be critically helpful as you move through this week and um, the coming month or two. Uh, all right, so that being said, we have um, this is like a really a huge theme this week because we have several different beliefs that are popping up around that intimidation and feeling like we're an imposter or we're putting on a front, right? One of the collective karmic cycles is talking a good game, but we're not following through. So this is going to be one of the biggest hurdles that you have to overcome this week is really putting the things that you want into action and pushing beyond those limitations that you put upon yourself. Um, there's also going to be a bit of shame being triggered if you hold any, but it's important to remember that shame is an internalized projection of someone else's preferences. Let me say that again. It is an internalized projection of somebody else's preferences. It's not your preferences. It's their preferences that they projected onto you and you bought into it. So looking at those places where you feel shame and, you know, thanking it for being there and bringing it to your awareness, then you can just go throw it in the trash because we don't need it. It's not our preference. It's theirs. Um, but also, you know, we're going to have that internal sense of validation, um, being triggered as well. Right. And that leads me to the second karmic cycle that's going to be popping up this week for the collective. And it is this unequal energetic exchange of validation where we're seeking validation from outside of ourselves, um, and unable to give it to ourselves. And it's like we're constantly seeking for other people to tell us that we're doing a great job and acknowledge our achievements and, and really like validate us. But even if we do get it, we can't receive it. So we just dismiss it and we're telling ourselves, oh, well, I should have done that a long time ago. It shouldn't have taken me this long. Or uh, maybe it's something like, yeah, it really wasn't that hard. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but whatever it is, we're just dismissing that validation that we do get because we have problems receiving it because we don't feel it within ourselves, which is why we're trying to find it outside of ourselves to begin with, right? But that's the catch 22. If you cannot give it to yourself, you cannot receive it from others. And Lord knows I was terrible about compliments for a very long time. It's still somewhat of a struggle. Um, I was what I called toxically humble and I couldn't receive any kind of validation or recognition from other people. I would feel really uncomfortable with it and I would try to change the subject uh, or just kind of like wave it off like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, and you know, I still catch myself trying to do that and I, something that I'm consistently working on is ensuring that I'm receiving it. Um, and this comes from this internal sense of uh, value and worth and, you know, really just recognizing yourself, knowing yourself again, right? Um, if, I don't know if you were around for this, but it was about a month or two ago I wrote about it. When you look up the word recognition, um, the, the, tr the meaning behind it is to know again. So you're recognizing something um, and that means to know them or to know yourself again, right? It was always there. We never lost it. We just forgot about it. So 
as we're exploring those limitations and blocks um, that we've put upon ourselves and stuck ourselves inside of this box, looking at why we have not been able to know ourselves again, to recognize ourselves and give ourselves recognition. Um, and this can really, really be some deep work around your identity too, as you're working through this. If you are struggling, please feel free to go to my website and set up a consultation call. I am happy to hold some space for you. Um, if you are seriously struggling, feel free to hit me up in a comment or on Messenger or wherever you find me. <laughs> I promise I will respond um, because there's some deep work coming up. And it's just going to keep getting deeper and deeper and more and more challenging if we aren't actively working through what's coming up for us, especially with the collective too. Okay, so that is the gist of what to expect this week. And I will be releasing small 60 second videos through the week as well to kind of give you that reminder and give you some things to think about as we move through. I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure you're liking and subscribing, share with your friends. I am trying to get to 150 video, um, subscribers. I think it's 150 for YouTube. Um, that way I can start to do lives here and really start to give y'all the full download for the week and allow you to ask questions as well while I'm live. Okay, that is it. Good luck. Um, and I wish every single one of you the best.